Hello and welcome. It is Monday night. I thought I'd update you on the boiler situation really quickly. Contact lens time, look away if you don't like me popping an eyeball. Isaac, I'm in the bathroom. We'll be out in five minutes. <sighs> Typical. I might, I'll record the end of it in my room because he's wanting to come in here. Tell you can't get five minutes for fuck all in this house. Gleeks on. I'm all steamed up. So back in the bedroom. You can hear me wee thing going, apologies. Um, so engineering guys, if my arm wobbles, I apologize. I'm really bad. I need to get like a little tiny tripod so I can put it on my bedside table and lie down and talk to you. Um oh, I'm such a lazy guy. But it hurts. I don't have much strength in my arms. Um <sighs> They wanted to come, I don't know if I mentioned this last week, on Friday late afternoon they said they wanted to come on Saturday morning. Darren said it wasn't suitable because, um, I've just stepped on the remote control, because Isaac had jiu-jitsu. They said we were being difficult, they created a whole hoo-ha. Darren phoned and spoke to the housing company. Housing company are like, we're through a housing association, which is like housing executive, which is like council housing, but... Ours is called Rural Housing and they basically buy up individual private houses in rural areas, like in the country. So we actually live in a private area that's all owned, apart from us. So it's not like a housing estate. Not that I would give a shit if it was a housing estate. I grew up on a housing estate. I'm not, no posh love here. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? So they were supposed to come today between one and five. Darren left it till four, ten past four. He's like, right, fuck it. And he phoned the housing company and he says, right, they're not, they haven't got, they're not here. Oh, uh, the person that deals with your account's gone home. The other one's in a meeting. She'll be out about half four. I'll get her to give you a call back. Darren, no phone back. Darren phoned back about 10 to five. Oh, she came out of the meeting and she's just gone home. Um, and then the guy looked at the screen and he goes, oh my God, I remember this, this job. Bloody hell. And he looked through all the like notes and it, it was like, he couldn't believe what had gone on. Um, and he said, right, if you have, we're due to go into my mum's tomorrow, I have to go to the bank and do a load of stuff. Um, Darren usually comes with me to give me a hand with my mum. He's like, just go about your business. They might come tomorrow, just go about your business, do what you have to do, don't be waiting in. If they turn up, screw them. Darren says, but we we need them to come to fit, you fix the hot water. Um, but anyway, about half hour later, at half past five, a van pulled up outside the house with two different engineers in it that we've never seen before from the same company. And um, Darren overheard them talking. He was upstairs on the landing and they didn't know he was there. And one of them said to the other, for fuck's sake, who the fuck fitted this? And the other says, oh, and said the guy's name, Shane, I think his name is. And um, Darren's like, or the other one goes, what the Fucking clown. Jesus Christ. And then when Darren spoke to them, he says, I'm sorry, mate, but this guy's wired it in completely wrong. It's completely wrongly wired. He says, and it's got a faulty part. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to order the part. He says, but an electrician will have to come back and fix that part before then we can do your job. And it's like, oh, fuck. I've, we've been dealing with this since May. It's now August. It's, I'm, I can't fucking afford to keep putting on the immersion heater and we're having to like save dishes like all day I know that's not a big deal but when you're OCD like me about loads of dirty dishes sitting about but having to put it on every single day um, to try and get enough hot water to do dishes to shower, to wash hair it's really difficult, it's a lot of water and it costs a fortune you wouldn't believe how much it puts the electric bill up um, so yeah that's not particularly good um, I'm trying today, I spent the afternoon getting together all of the paperwork I'm going to need for going to London on Friday. So I've all the boarding passes printed. Um, you can only take one tiny piece of hand luggage on the plane and that doesn't include your handbag. Your handbag counts as your hand luggage and the bag you can bring is tiny. I'll let you see it later in the week, I've just put it in the other room. So I've paid extra for there to be two small cases. Now, what the small cases are on Ryanair would be considered hand luggage on a normal, like on if you go to Florida or stuff. Usually you get your big checked bag up to 30 kg, I think. Then you get to bring like a small suitcase that you put in the overhead. Then you get to bring your handbag or like a carrier bag, you know, or a laptop bag. But 
were only allowed a very, very small bag that will fit under the seat in front of you. <clears throat> no handbag. It has to go in that bag. And the bag you can pay for um, costs 20 quid each way. And it's only like, you know, the little small one that you would bring. So we've paid for two little small ones purely because if Isaac buys anything, like say a figure or something and wants to bring it home, we're not going to have any room. So I'd say we'd all have been able to manage with three small bags and one larger one, but I've paid for the extra. So that's cost me an extra 80 quid to bring two extra small, very small cases. Fucking hell. So um, it's cost a lot of money. So we go on Thursday, we have to be at the airport for four o'clock a.m. So we'll have to be leaving the house at 3 a.m. I There's no point in me going to bed, to be honest. Um, And then we've got the show that night. So, you know, it's going to be a late night. I still haven't, there's still sh secret. Um, And then we meet the guys on Saturday. Um, Saturday morning, HMV on Oxford Street. Um, The, the other things I want to do is Camden Town. I've left it too late to book Harry Potter. It's sold out because I was hemming and hawing about it and the cost. But I would quite like to go to the National Natural History Museum. Um, so that would be good. But yeah, that's all I've done at the minute. But I've been looking at tube maps and reading about, you know, different. I'm not going to bore you about London stuff. But yeah, that's what's happening at the minute. Um, get ready for that. And I can't think... Oh, more crap's kicking off on YouTube. Honestly, see people on social media. There was one lad that's... There's this couple, I don't know who they are. But these two guys made this big long video basically reacting to other YouTubers, like film reviewers, slagging them off. Slagging off their appearance and stuff. They haven't had a go at me yet, but they've had a go at a friend. And fucking it. I mean, imagine making your YouTube channel basically ripping the arse, bullying other people. What arseholes. And then there's another person I know that there's always drama. I mean, I had it and I just ignored the person. They didn't go away, like, but I ignored them. It, it meant, meant I was a lot happier. And then a friend, Jamie, had similar shit um, from someone, from a couple of people that are just nasty. Now another lad is having shit <coughs> from someone that's like going around adding all his friends and trying to get them involved. And I'm one of the people that he's added trying to sort of crawl up my arse. I don't even know the guy, um, but I'm nothing if not loyal. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to... Um, I don't believe in falling out with someone because someone else tells you to, but if that person has been particularly nasty to someone that you think a lot of, I think it's disrespectful personally to still be friends with that person. If you disrespect or are nasty to someone that I consider a friend, I have no time for you, simple as that, and I'm not going to have anything to do with you. People say, oh, such and such is turning this person out. I, I can't be bothered with the drama. When you get older, life's too short, and if people show themselves to be nasty or bullish or two-faced or any of those things, I don't have time anymore for it. It's just like, I'll oh, see you tomorrow. Not interested. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> no interest. But um, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep now. I'm going to go to bed. Um... I shall check in tomorrow, probably on the drive, on the way into my mum's. Um, and I, if I can think of anything to update you about, about London. This vlog this week is going to be very short. It's going to end on Thursday. I may get it edited, I may not. Thursday is going to be a busy day, getting everything packed, washing the old hair, all of us having a bath. Why do we all have baths before we go on holidays? I don't know. Um, Dog's going to the kennels. Dobby's doing really well. She's been to the vet for her checkup. Yes, this morning. Seems like ages ago this morning. And the vet's really pleased with her. We've ordered special enzyme toothpaste. So, fingers crossed. Right, I'll go, guys. I shall speak to you tomorrow. Right, I'm trying to think what we need a pair of. Oh, so we don't need to get it today. Hello, it's Tuesday. Um, I'm just heading into my mum's and to get a few last minute bits for going away on Friday morning. Um, Sure, ours needs to pull the car forward. So um, we've got two cabin-sized bags and three very small bags. Um, hopefully that'll be enough. So what we're doing is we're bringing some stuff over in the bag Isaac will have, which will be like you know maybe some pot noodles, some like mini bars of chocolate to have with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. You know, like nibbles to cut down on the excessive price of having to buy a lot. You know, like if you get a bit peckish. 
you can have a pot noodle, you know what I mean? So we're just bringing over a few little bits like that with us. Huh? Yeah, you're allowed to do that. You just can't bring liquids unless, and we have to buy them wee clear bags because get this one. I bought a plastic resealable bag in Primark that had, you know, the little small um, bottles that you get inside that you can dispense your shampoo and conditioner and stuff into. Well, I bought one of those in um, Primark. I've never used it. Got it down today to put a few bits in it. Measured it. You're allowed 20 by 20 centimetres and this one is 23 to 24 centimetres across but they're selling it as a travel, you know, clear plus. And I'm thinking, can you imagine if you didn't check, if you I weren't anal like me what? and you're, you're stood at the airport with all your toileries in this wee bag and they say, I'm sorry, but that's too big. And I checked because Darren says, all oh, right, they're typical for this, you know, they, they do this, they change dimensions of stuff. So they make more money, you know, like you could maybe usually fly via British Airways or some other airline and you're used to your cabin bag that you know fits in. But Ryanair's dimensions of most things are smaller on purpose and then when you go with too big a bag, they sting you with extra charges. Um, like the cabin bag is, is so small, I'll show you it before we go. Um, but uh, yeah, 23 centimetres across it is and you're only allowed 20. Now, they might be fine, they might not like being all about it, but am I chancing it? No. So when you think of the things that's liquids, it's like all sorts. I mean, you can't even have a pack of wet wipes in your suitcase, that's liquids. I have like face wipes that I use to take makeup off, that's liquid. Your mascara, lipstick, um, things like concealer, foundation, that's all liquids. So that all has to go in a bag. And then you've got like a contact lens fluid. The bottle I have is too big. I'm not buying, I'm just going to go with my one of them full and hope it'll do me a few days. It's not ideal, it's but. Oh, yeah, never saw it. Never saw it. Yeah, <laughs> just told us about it. Never thought of that. My brains would be dangerous. Um, so, yeah, I'll put it in a wee bottle. But it says on the thing a plastic bag each. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit everything we need, and it's my fault because I've got makeup in one. Yeah, but Isaac's fine. You won't need to change your clothes, underwear, socks. You won't need soap. You won't need toothpaste. You won't need a hairbrush. So he's no, not he's going to take He's not going to use any of them, is it? So, like, I've got one plastic bag with foundation, lipstick, concealer, uh, that sort of stuff in, and it's, yes, it's a necessity, but my face without it is scary. Do I want to look at photographs of me with no makeup on in London? No. The bottom half of me is bad enough to depress me. I don't want my face doing it too. And then we're going to have a wee bag that's got our deodorant and toothpaste and that sort of thing in. So we're going to need to get another one for... Um, if I'm going to bring contact lens fluid and the wee container with me. You don't think of these things. It's like I never thought something... Like an eyeliner pencil, that's considered liquids. And the reason it's considered liquids is because if it's spreadable it's a liquid. So lipstick and eyeliner is our liquids. Well, according, according to them it is. Soap isn't though. I looked that up. Soap, soap is not a liquid. Well, I'll just bring a bar of like... Well, liquid soap? Well, that, obviously that is. Bar of soap. Right, anyway, I'm boring you now. Um, I'll catch up with you later if there's anything worth telling you. There's a van in front of us that looks really heavy on one side. I don't know if the axle's gone or... Surely they haven't piled everything up to one side of the van. I don't know. Right. Oh no, he's grinding to a bloody halt. He's driving very slowly, yeah. Right, I shall speak to you guys later. Well, I can explain to him that the 100 quid plus he wasted on sweets, he could have got an amazing fit for the planet. Do you know what he said was? Well, oh, it doesn't matter, I've got 150 quid now anyway. I didn't Isaac, say that. those were not the words. I said I just put 150 pound into my hand. That it was not those depends. words. Yeah, and do you know where that 150 pound came from? 60 was from your grandparents, and the rest was from money that I have put aside that you were given that I sneaked out of the way and put in the savings. Hmm. Or you would have spent it. But it was that reasoning of. Uh, this is thing just thing a, a a little glimpse into the day of parenting it's Isaac. A glimpse into the reality of how grumpy my dad is. Because Isaac spent 125 quid on sweets on holiday and he doesn't understand why that was a bad idea.
and didn't brush his teeth. 15 quid a day on sweets. A day. 15. Excuse my language. Hello. We are, it is Wednesday. We are on our way up to Antrim to hopefully see Alien Romulus. Um, yes, it's a 15. Um, I mean, nobody's telling me what a, and it's like, you can't let your child see this because they're, no, it's my child, it's not your child. So we're hoping that we get in without query. Darren will be ready with his arguing if we don't. He'll say, well, do you think I'm going to take my own child to see a film How that is underage? Dare you. <laughs> so, um, I'll let you know how it is, obviously, but I will be doing a review for my main channel, which I hope to get up before we go away tomorrow. It's just going to be a day of packing and just getting, making sure we've got all the paperwork and stuff we need. Um, yeah, so... Hopefully I'll get this vlog up before we go. Not vlog, um, I'll get my review up. This probably won't be up till after though. So, nothing much else to tell you at the minute. I shall uh, let you know what we thought when we get out. Hello guys, <clears throat> it is Friday, Thursday morning. I'm going to show you these. So this is the bags we're allowed, on the, that we had to pay £20 each way for. Look at what's in there. Honestly, Darren bought these because they were 50p each. Um, pot noodles for snacks. Um, disposable forks. Chocolate bars. That one, I don't know what that's going to have in yet. Uh, that's just got my makeup and power bank flannels. I'll size it clothes for tomorrow. That's various pieces of crap. Have a look at them nice little things. Bert Nerdy! Bert Nerdy! Right, um, so this is the bags, guys. That, obviously, there's my hand. This is the bag that you're allowed on the cabin. Right, this is mine. So I've got a dress, a cardi. There's another cardi and another dress. That um, I think I'm maybe putting trainers in that, so I've got an extra pair of shoes. I'm wearing my boots. Darren, the stuff's going in here. But Darren wants to bring this big man bag, so it'll have to go in there. But I mean, look at the size of these bags. They're tiny. I'll put actually. I'm sure, I put. This is what size they are. Um. 40 centimetres by 20 centimetres by 25. Just in case you forget, a school ruler is 30 centimetres. So it's just longer than a school ruler. A school ruler and a third by less than a school ruler each way. You know, like width wise, it's like really. You know what it's like? Camera bag. Like a, an old VHS, you know, like an old camera bag. And you're supposed to fit everything that you need in that. You know, forget if you need shoes or anything. You could fit a pair of trainers and one change of clothes in it. I would imagine. And they're for Isaac to wear tomorrow. Just leave them out. This is what Darren has done to Isaac's um, jacket. It says motionless in white and a wee symbol. So, cool. So, um... Yeah, it's Thursday morning. I've got up early. Um, I'm probably not going to go to bed tonight because we have to leave at like 3 a.m. And if I go to bed and I, which I don't normally get to sleep to between 3 and 4. But if I get to sleep a bit earlier and I wake up, I'm going to feel worse. So I'm just going to stay up um, and hope that adrenaline does its job. I wish we'd got the show on a different night, but it's tomorrow night the show we're going to so um hopefully i'm awake enough for that um i want to get this edited today before i go which is why i'm recording it this morning i showed you my bags um i'll not have to i'll not show you anything else um today today is a day of bathing hair washing packing the last few bits getting ready dogs go to kennels today poor dogs and um yeah i shall sign you off now guys on thursday i shall have a brand new vlog for you next week of what we do in london um 
one of them will probably go on my main channel because it's meeting up with other YouTubers. Um, but uh, they'll probably be separate days because if I don't do separate days, it's going to be way too long. And I'll speak to you guys later. Over a night for now from Kit and Caboodle.